welcome back to our channel. Uh, tonight we're going to do a kickstart kit on Deanie's uh, 2022 250 race edition. This is the bike he's going to race all summer in the New York off-road series. He was fourth overall last year, which is super cool. Um, so in this video, we're going to do this kit here. We always like to do the kickstart kits on our race bike because you never know if your battery has, we don't have the battery in it yet, but the battery has an issue. You've always got that backup kickstarter. Beta is one of the last companies that still even offers the hole in the case here to do it. This is everything that comes with the kit. The first thing that we have to do is we're going to remove the pipe. We're going to drain our coolant and we're going to drain our oil. We got to get those out of the way because we got to get this whole black case uh, side case cover off. All right, so we got our coolant drained. We reinstalled the drain bolt there and the oil has been drained. We reinstalled that as well. The next thing we're going to do is take this black cover off. So to do that, we got to get uh, the coolant hose out of the way here. We got to get the power valve cover here out of the way. And keep in mind, yours is probably going to have the same tamper proof uh, screw in there. So we have a cool set here at the shop that we keep around. Some people will just end up replacing this like we will. We're going to just put a regular eight millimeter bolt back in there instead. And then you got to get your rear brake out of the way. You've got the spring and then just the bolt here in the rear. So we'll get that out so we can pull this cover straight out. So. That's what we'll do next, and then we'll come back and talk about getting the cover off. So now we got our coolant hose out of the way. We got the cover off of this and our rear brake pedals out. The next clip is, uh, step is getting this little clip off of the power valve arm here. It's super simple to do. Um, I usually have a pick tool like this one here. And you don't really wanna, I guess we're taking the whole thing apart so if it fell down in there, it's not horrible. Um, but you can see it's starting to come. And I don't wanna catch my finger with the, So now it's there and we just pull straight down on it. And we obviously want to save this, it's going to be reinstalled. And then at this point we just pop this straight off. And this is disconnected. So now the last thing is going to be taking these nine bolts off that hold this outer cover. Like this little bolt here doesn't go all the way through the black, this one can stay. Because we're going to leave the outer clutch cover right now. We don't need to, to jam up the o-ring on this. So we'll take the next nine bolts out and then we'll show you what it looks like inside here. Uh, so Dan and I now will pull this off and it's a little bit tougher on the front to pull because you got two pretty big o-rings for the water jacket here and with this bike being so new we might be able to save his uh his inner gasket here which I think we did it comes with a new one but why not save it so it's so nice when you see a brand new bike this is beta's new clutch this is new for 2022 so it's kind of our first look at one of these two and you can kind of see right here, here's our pocket that we're shooting for to install our kickstart kit. So the first thing we gotta do is remove this clutch. And to do that, we've got these uh, six bolts we'll take off first and then we'll get the outer cover out of the way. And so we'll do that next. So keep in mind when you're doing the new beta clutch, and let me walk over here in the light. This is set in the second setting. Um, you can see where our bolt and uh, this one right here, where the bolt was rubbing, you can see it's got the two in it. And the GoPro doesn't always focus that well, so I apologize, but um, you can see it's stepped. And so two is right in the middle. You got the lower or the steeper, which puts more or less pressure. So this is that new beta clutch. Um, just know that we were in we were in two and you should too when you're doing yours. So pay attention to that when you're taking it apart. And then after that, this is pretty much just like a standard beta clutch. We're gonna take the center nut out. We're gonna use a chisel and push these two tabs out. You get a new one of these uh, with the clutch kit or with the kickstart kit. Um, so we're gonna pop this nut and then I can pull this whole center pack out. We can pretty much leave all these plates right in here. So we'll pop this nut off next. So these guys had a ton of Loctite on there. We wanna reinstall that, but they, they had a bunch. Then again, we used our beta tool to do this. Um, so now we'll just get this all cleaned up and I'm gonna just grab this whole pack together. And on the back side, there's, um. Make sure all this comes with it. And there's even this sleeve. I wanna pull that sleeve off right there. And we'll slide that right up in the back there as well. And now I can just set this all down as an assembly. And super cool, we're right where we need to be. We gotta reinstall the lower gear here. And then we gotta install this upper stuff. So in this kit, this is our lower gear. And there's gonna be a washer on the back side, the gear. And then a washer on the front side with the clip. Then we got to install this little tag is going to sit right here um, on the inner case. 
and it comes with the two screws to do that as well, which are these two. And then we got to pop the the cover gasket out of the um, outer cover that's got the plug and, and put our seal in there. That way our shaft can be installed. So the first thing we'll do is we'll install this gear here. So as we reinstall this, we want to make sure there's oil everywhere in all this. And you'll notice that this gear is tapered. Um, it can only go on way. You can't put it on backwards because it's going to rub all over the cases. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is hold, we're going to put the washer on there. And it's already all covered in oil because our fingers are as well. So we'll slide that on. And then we'll slide the gear on. And then again, the outer washer. And then there's just enough room for our C-clip. And I'm going to grab the tool for this next and we'll, we'll snap this right on here where it's supposed to go. And we'll just get it to snap right into the shaft there. And you'll hear it, you'll hear it make that little connection. Then you can always kind of give it like a tug out, make sure we're good. She spins nicely. So this gear is going to catch our kickstart gear and it's also going to catch the back of the clutch, the back of the clutch basket here. So um, now that that's on, we're going to get this, these next two uh, bolts installed with a little tab here. So we'll grab an eight millimeter and we'll do this next. So the first thing we have to make sure, and this one, this one came pre-assembled that had rubber bands on it, but you can kind of see, maybe not in the GoPro, but when you do this, you'll see a dimple here and then on the back of this tanged gear. And this one's assembled so it's correct, but if this was wrong, you want to make sure those are lined up because when we flip this over, um, this, this uh, spring has a, a slot that it sits in inside of this. And in order to get the right amount of tension, they have to be lined up together front and back. So what we do is we're going to take this whole assembly and we're going to rotate, we're going to stick it in there and we're going to rotate this clockwise until this tab fits underneath the one that's already been mounted to the, to the case here. So I'm going to slide it in and some of my work there was trying to line up this other gear that we already reinstalled there. And we're going to rotate this until it catches under. And so right now it's, it's caught underneath. And we got to make sure our spring, it kind of popped out on us, which is a good example of what it can do. So we got to get our spring back in the slot that it's supposed to be in. Then I'll show you what's what happened. So um, this spring has this plastic spacer and this has to slide up inside of that shaft and the hole is directly in the bottom of it there. So I'll slide the spacer back on first. Kind of get that in the spot that it needs to be there. And because the... Okay, now it's up in. And I gotta try to hold it up while I wind it. And as I wind this, I don't wanna hurt the gasket. We're gonna wind all the way up to this little hole here. And sometimes you gotta have like a pair of pliers to actually take this and turn it into its hole. There. So now this is wound, it's in its hole like it's supposed to be, and that'll help the, the kickstart lever return back up when it's after you're done kicking it. So we've got this installed, this is back on, and at this point um, we can reassemble our whole clutch assembly because everything behind it is all done. All right, so kickstart gear is in, the carrier gear is also in, and the next thing I'll do is reinstall our whole clutch assembly. And keep in mind that this gear has to line up. Okay, so we have two gears that have to line up with the clutch basket. We got this one on this side, and also the kickstarter side. So as you slide your clutch assembly on, you might have to like use your other hand to like rotate this a little bit to get everything to line up. Um, and as you saw when I took it off, make sure that that big spacer is in there as well. So. Kind of set that on there and it kind of slides in. Okay, so we just got the whole clutch pack reassembled and it takes a minute sometimes because you have to get uh, this side gear lined up with the back of the basket along with all the kickstart gears that we just added. So sometimes you have to kind of rotate different things to get it to sit, but we got it back far enough. And the next thing we have to do is, um, oh, it's on the table right here. This is our, our lock washer that's going to keep our clutch nut where it needs to be. We'll reinstall this first, and then we'll put our, our nut on. We'll torque this down. They want 120 newton meters, so it's a ton of torque on this to keep it still. The only thing we've added so far is our, our push out uh, rod all the way across. It comes up to this little assembly. And then the next thing we install 
is our new outer clutch plate because there's no springs with this. And then we get the diaphragm up on here. And we're going to put in the number in the number two position. We're just going to use these six bolts to reinstall this back on here. So we'll do that next. All right, so we got these all torqued, clutch is all set. The next thing is installing this uh, clutch cover. And what we have to do is we got to get rid of the C-clip to get this plug out because that plug is going to get removed to install the new gasket so we can just reassemble this into the cover and then slide it all on. All right, so now that we got the snap ring out of the way, we're just going to push this out. You'll see it coming out there side there. Super cool. And then on the outside, you can see how the cover is machined out to reinstall the, the new gasket here. So we'll reinstall this here and we'll get it reinstalled on the bike. So when we reinstall this, we have the dowel pins that are holding the gasket on. We have two of those to line up. We have the water pump jacket. We have the new um, kickstart gear poking out that we got to line up. And the last thing and the trickiest thing is going to be lining up our water pump gear here. So as we stick it on, everything else will line up pretty good. And then sometimes we have to reach inside the cover with this little pick tool as it's going on and, and rotate that gear just a little bit. So let's stick that on there and see how close we are. And as you're doing this, just keep an eye on your gasket. Make sure that it didn't slide down, but ours is staying nice. And then right here is this, this gear is just inside the cover here. And I just spin it just ever so slightly. There we go. It definitely went on more. And then now it's just going to be overcoming the friction of this, of that there. We'll get it pushed on. Let's spin it just a little bit more, make sure here. Oh, let me get my tool back out of there. Oh. <laughs> it worked. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Perfect. So now all we're going to do is reinstall the nine bolts on the outer cover here. We'll get those installed. We'll get this cover put back on as well. And then we'll refill our fluids. All right, so now we got all nine of our outer clutch cover bolts tightened. We got our gasket uh, reinserted behind the power valve cover here. So we're just going to push the rod back on. You can you can feel it and hear it go on. And then on the back side, this little pin goes up in there and then it just wraps around and snaps on. And at this point, all we have to do is just uh, reinstall the cover with the three bolts that we took off. And then the next step, we'll reconnect our coolant hose and then we'll come down here. We'll reconnect our, our brake pedal and then we'll reinstall the um, kickstart lever right now. So we'll do those next steps. All right, so we got everything wrapped up here. This is the kickstart kit on a 2022 250 race edition. Uh, we've got our coolant refilled. We've got our oil refilled in the gear side here. And we like to use the Motul Trans Oil. And then uh, Danny likes to run the engine ice in his bike. You can either run this or the Motul Expert in it. When you're done, you might end up with a spare gasket like we did. And this is the plug that we took out uh, where the, the kickstart uh, shaft comes through. We're also going to do a video. We've done a lot of videos on this bike. We did a coolant hose video. Uh, we did a race wire loom on this bike as well. And then uh, we're going to do a IMS oversized gas tank video next. Check out our channel. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation. We've done a bunch of bike videos and we'll continue to do more. Thanks for watching.